Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I am Ronak Kapoor. Our top stories from the world of cricket today. India kick off their tour of Australia with the first T20I at Brisbane. The Pakistan Cricket Board's case against the BCCI has been dismissed. Smith, Warner and Bancroft's bans to stand. And Nick Pothas named West Indies interim head coach for their tour of Bangladesh. India will kick off their tour of Australia with the first T20I on the 21st of November at Brisbane. Captain Virat Kohli returns to the T20I setup for India, having opted out of the T20I series at home against the Windies. Speaking ahead of the game to the press, Kohli highlighted the presence of world-class players in the Australia squad, in spite of the absence of the band Steve Smith, David Warner and Cameron Bancroft. They still have world-class cricketers obviously missing out on two of their best batsmen is, is not an ideal thing for any um, team, but... Even then, they have guys, especially in the limited overs game, uh, who can do damage at, at any given point of time. And, um, you know, you, you can never underestimate any side. The Pakistan Cricket Board's attempt to claim damages worth 63 million US dollars from the BCCI have met with what is now a final failure. The ICC's Dispute Resolution Committee rejected the PCB's claim that the BCCI's failure to honour an agreement to play a bilateral series in 2014 and 2015 was a legal breach. The three-person dispute resolution committee said that the claim must fail because the agreement signed between the boards carried a moral obligation and not a legal one. That will not be the PCB's only defeat. As is the norm in arbitration cases such as this, the BCCI confirmed that it would seek legal costs from the PCB. Steve Smith, David Warner and Cameron Bancroft will serve the full term of the bans imposed upon them by Cricket Australia for their roles in the Newlands ball tampering scandal earlier this year after the board considered their sanctions in the wake of the release of the independent cultural review of the governing body. This means Smith and Warner will remain ineligible for international or domestic cricket until the end of March 2019 and Bancroft until the end of December 2018. Earl Eddings, the interim chairman of Cricket Australia, stated that the board felt that continued efforts to alter or reduce the bans, whether from the Australian Players Association or elsewhere, was placing undue pressure on both the band players and the Australian team as a whole. Nick Pothas has been appointed as West Indies interim head coach for the Tour of Bangladesh following the end of Stuart Law's 22-month stint. The Windies Tour of India was Law's last assignment and he has now been named as Middlesex's new coach. West Indies hoped Pothas, who became fielding coach earlier this year, would bring some continuity for the Bangladesh series before a full-time appointment is made. The Windies take on Bangladesh in the first test at Chittagong on November the 22nd. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.